All right. This is about the uh, this is about the only car. I would like to walk you through uh, some other uh, some other errors that are possible and uh, typically I would say common when we do on the measurements. I'll show you some solutions. Let us get back to the multi-line TRL. The multi-line TRL, we believe that this is the, probably the only method that you can apply uh, with the full confidence and millimeter with frequencies. Why is this so? Because the beauty of this method, it does not require any electrical model of the calibration standards. The only information for the multi-line TRL algorithm you need to provide is a difference in the physical length between the lines you measure. So, and the physical length parameter is the physical length is actually frequency independent. So, delta L of 20 micron or 40 micron is the same 40 micron, doesn't matter. Do the measurements 20 gigahertz or say 1 terabits. It's actually a physical parameter which is limited only by the resolution of your measurement system and the experience of the operator. We knew this, and that is why in our systems, uh, to support this problem and to make the multi line TRL more accurate, we implemented a very inexpensive feature we call a digital X. It's a digital micrometer which helps you to control uh, the difference in the transmission line length when you do multi line TRL on video. And it works <coughs> really simple. So, what you do is that when you do, uh, when you do the press measurements, which is the measurement of the through, for multi line TRL, the through standard is your relative zero. So you set up the probe to probe distance, which can be 150 micron, but not necessarily need to be 150 micron, and you zero out the digital micrometer on the position of this is your relative zero. And then if you need to move to the next line and add the next lines like data L, 70 micron or 50 micron, maybe 100 micron, you simply look at the digital micrometer and it helps you, you know, to set up probe to probe distance with one, one micron resolution. We do have this option on our setup here in the next room. Please come over and play with it. It's really cool. So, and that's you go, you go, and actually it's not only because of accuracy, it's also very convenient to use, because once you've finished with the longest line, you want to bring all the probes back to the through location to measure the device and the test, and it's very difficult to do because you need to watch the probes, and you're always scared that you damage them because you can crash the probes towards each other, you need to move microscope back and forth. This digital X option, you don't need even to watch the probes, you just, you know, you rotate the micrometer and you bring it to the zero that you know that the distance of your probes is exactly the same where you started. And here's another graph, it's a comparison of two calibration methods. One of them is a conservative, pro-conservative calibration method. Uh, we took just LRM and the frequencies from 220 to 340 gigahertz. And we did two calibrations one after another. So this is the reproducibility of the calibration methods. And we used a calibration comparison method which was developed by National Institutes of Standards and Technologies to calculate the error between these two calibration methods. And this is what the graph shows us. This is the maximum possible error of all possible S parameters, all four S parameters measured after the first calibration versus the second calibration. And what we can see here is the maximum error is roughly 10%. This is our calibration repeatability for the standard system, even when we don't need to move the props from each other. And performed by a single operator. And then we did another experiment. We asked the second operator uh, to do the same call. But in this case, the second operator did the multi-line TRL calibration, moving the probes from each other. And the first operator made also the multi-line TRL, moving the probes from each other. Actually, the human interface error in this case is probably the largest possible because two different operators have two different operation skills. And every time when you reposition the probes, you can always introduce the different types of the error. Uh, usually on a normal setup, this type of uh, the error, the reproducibility of the cow from one operator to another operator for multi-line TRL or wafer is the largest one. In our case, with this very simple feature, uh, what you can see here is that we reduce the reproducibility error by, I would say, 50%. We got it down as a maximum 5% between two operators, which means that reproducibility of the measurements will significantly increase. Well, that's my last slide. Uh, to conclude my talk, on the calibration methodology, this is what we reduce. We believe that this is the way to go for millimeter wave frequency characterization of advanced uh, silicon processes and devices at millimeter wave frequencies. Well, if we do a wave call, it's much easier to deem that the remaining parasitics of the device under test. If you set a reference plane on the top metal layers, or you don't need to do it at all if you set a reference plane on the metal one. So, multi line TRL is metallurgy grade. 
uh, um, calibration method, we highly recommend to use it if you can afford the space. If not, um, well, TMR, TMRR work as, as good. Uh, then advanced probe system solution are available uh, from API product line. Sorry, a little bit advertising for the company. Uh, well, uh, for advanced, it's not because um, it's not the only one method that we implemented our systems like digital apps. We also do a lot of work related with uh, developing best calibration methods, best calibration algorithms, and uh, our calibration um, software calibrate is tightly integrated with the uh, statistical from an ISD, so we can get access using our software to the engine calibration engine of uh, multi-line TRL embedded in the statistical which will help you to, uh, to uh, significantly improve your calibration accuracy and build trustful management results and continuous performance results. That's all. Thank you very much.